my crafty cuties. How is everyone doing today? I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Um, this is part three of our merry and bright um, sew along and or Grayson stars. We can you refer to it as either or, it doesn't matter. And um, I decided to split the star sewing in half because there's just so many steps to sewing the stars together. So what we are fixing to do is start assembling our stars. And then we'll do our big, huge four patches. We have to put those together and then we're ready to start assembling the quilt. So maybe two or three more weeks and this quilt will be done and we'll be ready to start our other one. I have a sneak peek for you. I'm gonna give you a little tease. I thought I'd put it closer than I did. So I am working and please bear in mind that this is just a sample block because I'm having to test out my pattern. So I'm just using whatever scraps I have lying around so I'm not cutting up my, my good fabric as we wanna call it. So um, without further ado, are you ready to see one of the blocks that's coming in our upcoming sew along? Little sneak peek. What do you guys think? I know I have two darks down here together. Again, this is just scraps. This is not going to be the colors that I'm going to be using in my quilt, but this is a sneak peek of what's coming up. And I also made a bigger version that we're probably going to be using in our quilt too. And this is the bigger version. And I use the same fabrics that I'm using in our Mary and Bright so long just because I had these and they were readily available. So anyway, two sample blocks of that. One, the first one I showed you is 100% definite gonna be in the quilt along. And then the second one, it's probably, we'll see if it, if it makes it in there or not. It might not make it. I just made it because I was trying to decide on the sizes. The blocks on it's not gonna be as big as these blocks. So, there's a teaser for ya. <laughs> All right, so I think we are ready to get started. I just need to pause the camera for just a second and gather my supplies together because again, you guys know I wing it. I'm winging it here and I don't have all my junk together <laughs> and I need to get some of my stuff together and I'll join you here in just a minute. It'll be just a minute for you, probably an hour for me because we all know how I am. It's winging it. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Hello, I'm back. It took me a few minutes. My mom, my dad came over, my husband came back. So it took me a few minutes to get back to you, but you don't know that because for you, it was only like less than a second and I'm back. So you will need, now we're to the point to where you need to take your four patches that we just pieced together in our last video. And you need to take one of your um, star leg units that don't have the four patches, the five patches on each side. Just these. You just need these. So you're gonna take this star leg facing this direction and we're going to attach it. Let me see if I can hold it up, if I can get it to go here. I, can, I have a design board. Hold on, I'm making this so difficult for myself. Here we go. So we're gonna put our four patch on there like that. And then our star leg is going to attach just like that, okay? You're going to sew one of these units on this side, and then you're gonna to need to sew another unit just like that on this side, okay? And hopefully I'm not confusing anybody. I hope I'm not confusing anybody. So I'm gonna scoot this up so I can show you. Let me put this down here like this. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to sew a unit to each side of our four patch, just like this, okay? All right, and like I said, hopefully I'm not confusing anybody because I, I, I don't mean to confuse anybody. So I'm gonna take this off, place that over there, and I sewed those together wrong, of course, and turn this one maybe that direction, 
And I am trying to match up the seams right here in the middle. And I just kind of flip it open, pop a pin in, in that middle. And what I'm doing when I'm opening this up is I'm looking that this seam is lining up with this seam right here. That's what I'm checking. Okay, and if they're lined up, put them, to, if I'm good with how it looks, pop it under the presser foot and start stitching. So I got a little ahead of myself. I thought that I would start stitching some of these before I started recording. And I just realized that I put them together wrong. And I will show you what it's not supposed to look like, okay? Let me show you what it's not supposed to look like. Oh gosh. So let me take this apart because I'm gonna have to do some seam ripping. This is not what you're looking for. My legs are on the wrong side. So don't do that. Legs are, I'll have to tear, I'll have to uh, seam rip those, of course. And I did that one wrong. And I do believe I did all of these wrong, three of those wrong. So it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I was getting ahead of myself. I was getting ahead of myself. So I pinned. I was going through, but again, I had company here that was talking. Wasn't paying attention to what I was doing when I should have just stopped what I was doing and um, and did our visiting instead of, yeah. Yeah, that never works out well for me, ever. Oh gosh. So that's, that's what I'm going to do is sew them the correct way and I'll show you the correct way once I get this one started. up to the pin, but not over the pin. Grayson is in here, but he is in his little basket and he is sound asleep. I did make his little cushion. I did, I did that this morning. Okay, and this is what your unit should look like. You should have your star leg attached to your four patch. So this is what we're looking for right here. And we're going to sew to each side, and I'll show you that. I'm just gonna lay that one right there, and I'm gonna have to unpin all of these. Let me, um, actually, I'm just gonna do one at a time because I have them matched up how I want them to go. At least it's not a total waste, total waste. So what I'm going to do is I am going to remove the sound. Hopefully I can find some pretty music for you to listen to. I'm gonna speed up the video or I may edit some of this out, one of the two. But I'm, I wanna sew a few more just so you can see what I'm doing. You know, I mess, I'm not afraid to show my mistakes at all. So it's like we're really in a sewing room together. Like you're really here with me in my sewing room and you get to see all of my boo-boos and blunders <laughs> and all of that good stuff. I, I don't edit, edit per se. The only thing I do is just try to cut out a few of the, you know, so you're not just sitting here listening to me prattle on and, um, you know, you don't, you don't necessarily want to sit here and watch me just so, so, so. I don't know, you might. And if you do, hey, drop a comment below and let me know. Say, hey, I like watching you sew. I love to watch people do crafting stuff. I, I follow quite a few people. I follow Roxy Creations. I follow The Last Homely House. And I'll leave a link to each of their channels below. Uh, of course, I follow the Missouri Star Quilt Company, the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, who else do I? I follow a girl that's in Scotland. I'll leave her link below. Um, I can't remember her name right now. I just found her not too long ago, and I love watching her videos. She cracks me up. She's funny. Um, but Kate, Kate at the Last Homely House, I love, 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 love Kate. So, but yes, I'll try to remember to link all them below. And, um, oh yeah, that looks good. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to carry on with my sewing. 
And like I said, I'm just going to remove the sound, speed up, maybe speed up the video. And um, y'all can watch me sew if you want to. And if not, you can skip ahead by all means. taking out these that I put together incorrectly because I thought I was being smart. Should never try to plan anything. See why I wing it? <laughs> That's the reason why I wing it. Because nothing ever works out right. And how you like my seam ripper? Do y'all like that? My dad and my husband make these and these are the best seam rippers I believe on the planet. They're like super, super sharp. And um, I have two. I have this one that's made out of Purple Heart, because I love purple. And um, they're fantastic. So I'm just gonna pull these apart. Make sure to turn it the right way. Scoot that over just a cinch. There we go. Sorry, my chair is squeaky. I have a squeaky chair. One more. I, I did one off camera when my husband was jacking at me, so we'll do this one. Should have known I was doing it wrong. I said.
Hopefully you can't hear my husband. He's on the phone. <laughs> He's on the phone with the insurance company. I hope y'all can't hear him. He's being a little loud. And again, uh, this that you see me put under the foot is simply the, um, the bonus quilt that I'm doing. It's not necessarily a project I'm doing for us, but it's a leader and an ender. Instead of just using uh, scrap pieces of fabric, I'm just using um, this opportunity to stitch together some two and a half inch squares. Okay, so there we go. So remember, you sh your star, they should look just like this, just like that. All right, I'm gonna take these over to the ironing board and I am going to press them towards the four patch, okay? Because we have a lot of bulk right here, so I'm gonna press them towards the four patch. All right, I will meet you back here in just a few minutes and we'll put on our other part and then we're gonna be ready to put that our stars are almost done. Almost, I can't even speak today. I can't even speak today. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Okay, back from the ironing board. All right, you should have, your block should look like this now. So now we need to put star leg on the other side. And let me grab the design board back so you guys can see. And then we're going to attach one to the opposite side, just like that quarter of an inch seam, always quarter of an inch seam, unless I tell you differently. Okay. All right. So now let's get this put on and we're going to have our stars done. Yay. Yay. Quilt comes together fast. I wonder what it would look like if I just stitched it down without, ma no, we're gonna match up the metals. <laughs> Not doing that. Oh, there comes some beautiful sunshine. It is cold here today. Who is it cold? All right. with that um so yeah i did get a little break so i'm going to take these over to the ironing board and i am going to iron them again with the seam facing the four patch okay i'm going to iron press these with the seam facing the four patch and i will be right back for the next step of putting these big, huge, beautiful stars together. You know, it would be beautiful to do just a quilt in these stars. Wouldn't that be just beautiful? It would be beautiful. All right, meet you back here in a few minutes as soon as I get these pressed. 
I'll rock my crafty cuties. So gosh, we are so close to finishing this block. All right, so we have this portion done. Now it's time to add these bad boys. Remember these bad boys that we did? Remember these? You are going, you get another, let me grab the design board. At least it's just right there. So I'm gonna lay this across. Uh, let me grab the bigger one actually. That way the whole block fits on the big one. Just knock something down on me. Okay, so, and then this one is going to attach. I'm gonna leave um, kind of a white space so you can see it. All right, so you're going to take one of these that we added the two, the bigger, the longer star point legs with the two five patch blocks on it. And we're going to attach it to the remaining sides. So I am going to do that. And you may want to pin at these intersections right here, just so everything stays nice and lined up. It's totally up to you. If you want to pin, fine. If you don't, fine. Um, I might tr be brave and try one or two without pinning. We'll see. We'll see. So um, that we're going to put one here and one down here at the bottom, and our stars are gonna be done. All right, let me get to sewing. If I can get that back in there, there we go. Make sure you put it on the correct way.
All right, we're down to the final segment of putting our quilt together. So this, whoops, if I can hold on to it, is what we have now. And we need to add our last star leg patch on there. This one. So this one will be on here. Like, well, if you can see it like that. All right, and it's the same process. Just make sure you turn it the right way, not like me, the wrong way. Oh, I don't want that one on there because that will put like two purples together. I'm not really paying attention to how, I'm not trying to give it too much thought, but I don't want two of the same color like budding right up to each other. And the only points that I am worrying about lining up is this intersection here and this last intersection down here. I'm not worrying about the middle. I'm just going with it. But so far, pretty good. To be me, it's uh, it's going together excellent. Oh, gosh. So, I'm going to pin all of mine together. I'm going to do all the pinning first. And then, I'm going to go back and sew... And then go and then go through and sew them all on. Sorry. Apparently I couldn't pick up a pen and talk at the same time. Challenged. I was challenged at that moment. <laughs> oh, but I had this I did stop for a few minutes. I went and put dinner in the oven. And we were having a debate the other day. Do you call it dinner or do you call it supper where you live, where you're from? What do you call it? Just curious. Um, I use it either or interchangeably, dinner or supper, you know, just whatever comes to mind. But most of the time I call it dinner. So anyway, that was just a discussion that we were having and don't ask me what brought it up. Can't remember, but um, yeah. Oh, I know what brought it up. And my son-in-law, he's from Arizona and uh, you know, he, he's moved to the deep south and he makes fun of me and my daughter for some of the stuff that we say. Like we call a cart, like you would go get a cart at Walmart to, you know, to put your groceries and that kind of stuff in it. We call it a buggy. And he says, what is a buggy? And we tell him, you know, a cart that you get when you're at the grocery store to put your stuff in. Anyway, blows his mind. The <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh-oh, I almost got two side by side. I don't want to do that. It does. It blows his mind. It, some of the different names we have for things. He said, it's called a cart. And I'm like, nope, it's a buggy. We call it a buggy. Oh, gosh. And then I laughed and told him, I am 55 years old. I can call it whatever I want to call it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyway. That's how that topic got brought up, I think. It was thanks to the dear son-in-law. All right. So, I'm just going to continue pinning, uh, pinning these together. When I get ready to sew them, I'll be back. Give me just a few minutes, and I'll be right back. Okay, my friendly little peeps. We are now ready. All of mine are now pinned together. And I am ready to start stitching these little babies down. So I'm gonna stitch a couple. Um, I'm gonna record me stitching a couple. And then I'm gonna log the camera off. There's only 15 of them. And um, get them ironed. And then I will be back to show you what it looks like. All finished. And we are part of the way done with our quilt. And I happened to think about when I was talking about um, um, that this would be a short quilt along. It may not be as short as I thought it was going to be because we still have to quilt it and do the binding. Like this is the whole kit and caboodle, you know, that you guys will get to uh, get to see. I mean, do you want to see the whole quilting on the long arm thing? 
Is that something that you would like to see? I, I have, well, she's actually a mid-arm. I have a moxie. Um, do y'all want to actually watch me quilt this quilt on my moxie? Like, maybe not the whole thing, but, you know. And I'll probably do simple, simple stipple. That's my, um, that's my thing. I'm a lean, mean, stipple machine. And I just like the stipple because I can zone out and I can just quilt and, you know, no thought to it, no, just, just be in the moment, you know? So most of my quilts, I do stippling of some kind. That's just what I like, and uh, you know what? It's my quilt, and you can do it. I can do it any way I want to, and so can you. It's your quilt, your choices. You can do it any way you want to. All right, so I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm going to finish stitching these little babies together. Oh, they're so pretty. I am loving it. My daughter, I was doing this for me and my husband, and my daughter seen it, and now she has laid claim to this quilt. So this is this is her quilt when I get it finished. This will be hers. She loves the purples and the teals and the and the greens. So she's already uh, laid claim. <laughs> she's already claimed it. So it will go to Miss Chris. And I hope y'all were enjoying the short videos of Grayson, the king. That's what I have lovingly nicknamed him. And he's back in his basket. I got a couple of shorts I got to upload for you guys. But yes, the king is so stately. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll meet you back here for you in a second. For me, it'll be a few minutes. See you in a few minutes. All right, I am back. It's actually the next day, and guess what? All of our stars are now finished. Look at here. Aren't they beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love how they turned out. There's a couple there. Here's another one. They turned out absolutely beautiful. I hope you are as happy with your stars as I am with mine. So, now that we're finished with our stars, guess what we're ready to start? We're ready to start those big, giant four patches. Right here. I only need 13 of these big, giant four patches. I have two that are already made over laying across my long arm, my quilt, uh, the quilt frame things. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them. Anyway, they're over there. So I have a uh, way more cut than I needed, but that's okay because, you know, we can always use fabric for something. We always. So, um, I have since given up hope of making my quilt per my design. You know, because I totally messed that whole thing up. You know, I explained that in uh, one of the very first videos. So, I just give up. I, I just give up. So, I am going to choose my fabrics for 13 blocks. Um, I do have a bunch of yellow that I could add in. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. So, it might help if I distributed my fabrics out just a little bit right here. Let's do just, let me see here. What I have going on right here. Okay, I think, cause this, I think I'm gonna put this one and this one together. Oh, I had turned off something and now I need to go turn it back on. <laughs> because it's telling me it didn't like it. There we go. It's like my machine has totally lost its memory. It's like totally lost its mojo. I don't know what's wrong with the goofy thing. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? This thread is so linty. I don't know that I'm gonna be purchasing it again once I use up all that I got. Do any of you out there use connecting threads? Show of hands, 
Do you like connecting threads? I was a fan until here recently, and this thread is the lintiest stuff. I took this off, by the way. I did take that off on my machine because it makes it hard to uh, see, to oil, and clean. And because I, I clean my machine like a fanatic. I do keep her nice and clean. And yeah, there's just lint build up. It's ridiculous. Okay. And then that to get pressed. That's there. Okay. So now we're choosing fabrics for our four patches and I'm just ran trying to randomly go through pick out some I mean there's limited selection limited selection here so you know I just don't want them all 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 this the same which they're not gonna all be the same I don't I don't know what I'm saying I don't know what I'm talking about don't have a clue but here we go. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so I got that one and that one. I think I'm going to pair maybe this pretty watery looking fabric with this one. I think that's what I'm going to do. I always check my stitches. It, it's a habit. I think I am going to include some of this beautiful yellow um, since I do have some of it left. And um, in my four patch block, since I cut my fabric, you know, the wrong way. If you're just tuning in, um, make sure that you cut your five inch squares first and then cut your nine and a half inch blocks. Makes a difference. All right, all right. I am, uh, at this point in time, I'm going to uh, speed the video up. You can still watch me sew. It's just gonna be really, really fast. I wish I worked that fast, but it's gonna be really, really fast and, um, I'll be back when I have all of these stitched together. sew together in twos. So now it's time to put these twos together. All right. Oh, and by the way, this is all I had left out of that big stack. Two of these. Whew, it's kind of close. Whew. Okay, so I don't want to put too much thought into this. But I think I'm going to put, how can I pick this up and show you like this? I think I'm gonna put these two together like this. So when you put them together, match your seams up in the middle and you're gonna to wanna to nest these seams. 
want one seam to go that way, one seam to go that way, and you'll be able to fill if there's any space in between those. Pop a pin in there just to hold it in place like that. And then we're gonna stitch them together. Easy peasy. to the ironing board you can see that one of your seams wants to go that way and one wants to go that way just press them the way that they want to go and then your middle seam across through here you can press it up or down it doesn't make any difference which way you press that one so this is how I do mine I just stitch them all together at one time and then I take them to the ironing board and iron them so I'm gonna do that right now to show you what they look like finished and you know what we're to the point that we can start assembling our quilt be back in a few minutes all right we have our blocks are all finished we have made it almost to the finish line we're at the very end of our journey we're getting to the very end of our journey so you should have all of your four patch blocks completed before next week and if you don't no big deal because you can catch up there's no time limit to this okay you can join in the middle you can join at the end you can join this sew along whenever you want to and then here is the star block so I am now ready to join my blocks together and that will be in next week's video until next week have a fantastic week and remember to quilt and quilt often see you next week <laughs>